Blessings, blessings, my viewers. Welcome back. Scrap metal collector hit by taxi in St. Catherine dies in hospital. A scrap metal collector who was hit by a taxi three weeks ago along the old road in St. Catherine, Old Harbor Road in St. Catherine, sorry, today succumbed to his injuries in the hospital. He is 58 year old Charles Malcolm of St. John's Road, Spanchtown, St. Catherine. Malcolm was hit on the night of February the 25th. It was reported that about 11.15 p.m. Malcolm was pushing a trolley loaded with scrap metal along Old Arbor Road when he was hit by a Toyota Carlo, Carola Axia motor car being operated as a taxi. The injured man was taken to the Spongetown Hospital and was subsequently transferred to the Kingston Public Hospital where he admitted. Malcolm succumbed to his injuries on the early morning of Monday, March the 18th. The St. Catherine North Traffic Department is conducting an investigation into the matter. Men killed in St. Catherine crash identified. The St. Catherine North Police have identified the two men who perished in a vehicle accident near Bagwak on Friday. They are 26 year old laborer Javon Smith of West Prospect District, St. Catherine, and 35 year old Kawain Wright of Top Road in Jerrytown, St. Mary. The police reported that about 6 30 am, Smith was driving a Yahama motorcycle with Wright as his pillan when upon reaching a section of the Tullock Main Road. The bike collided in the left side of a Toyota Noah motor truck which was traveling in the opposite direction. Both vehicles were damaged by the impact. The driver and passenger in the Noah were injured along with Wright and Smith who suffered several injuries. All four were taken to the Linstead Hospital where Smith and Wright succumbed while the others were treated. The Bagua police are probing the matter. Opel police station officially open. Individuals living in the growing resident, residential and economic town of Opel in Anova can now breathe a sign of relief having received an improved police presence in that area throughout the official opening in, of the Opel police station which had been under construction for more than a year.